welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all beauty, fitness, hauls, and everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, we're gonna be continuing on the entrepreneurial series. Yes, so I'm gonna be sharing with you all Step by step, how I take product photos. This will be a revamp of my last product photo video where I shared with you all some great ideas, uh, some great ideas to start. If you haven't seen that video already, I would say just click this link right here, it'll take you straight to it. But yes, in today's video, we're gonna be incorporating my wax melts, yes. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for the video. If you do like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, so here's my current setup. As I mentioned before, we're doing the wax melt launch photos and I'm launching them on February 19th, so I wanted to get some really great, nice looking photos done in advance so I can have time to retouch them and design some really good marketing programs for my Instagram. So yeah, as you can see, I'm gonna be launching Pineapple Burst, smells heavenly. I'm gonna be launching Agave Nectar, <laughs> Agave Nectar and I'm gonna be launching Honey Vanilla. Yes, this is a very popular scent on my site. My Honey Vanilla candle, just to show the versatility regarding I have the Zen Tins that you can purchase as well as the Oxford jars. So I wanted to take some photos with these together so people can see that they have those options and I wanna get photos with the candles lit. So, yeah. As you can see, I have a nice cute little slab of fur here that I use for my product photos. You can get this from Hobby Lobby. They're always having 40% off, so definitely take advantage of that sale. You don't need too much, especially with photography photos. You're only gonna be taking a limited amount of pictures, so you don't need that many yards. I also picked up this cute little wooden chair. I thought it looked classic and I could use it when I'm doing my summer candles. I may even use it today, we'll see. And then I came across this beautiful picture from Hobby Lobby. It says, just love. I thought it was perfect for the holiday, the Valentine's Day that just passed, or today. Today's Valentine's Day, guys. I had a date and he kind of stood me up. Mm, super sad. It's okay, though. All right. So, yeah. So, it's just love here. And then I purchased a lot of flowers from Hobby Lobby. Because like I said, they have the 40% off, so I'm a little crazy. These beautiful flowers are perfect for product photos. I also got this really pretty light, which I'll show you guys in a second. It lights up like gorgeous. Let me turn the light off. So here is the view from my iPhone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro and I just wanted to show you all what it's looking like with the product photo. As you can see, I lit a candle and I added in the fur as well as the lights all around it. So my goal here is to create that calm, you know, glowy look. So I decided to focus on the lights in this figure fixture as well as you know lining up that white poster in the back so it's a white backdrop as well which you guys will see soon oh and i also incorporated the just love photo because it's classic and it adds a really nice touch to the back so i wanted to incorporate a photo that would send a nice message in this image without my label because as you know this candle lit does not have my label.
Okay guys, so next I just wanted to show off three different variations of the same fragrance. So I'm going to take photos of the Honey Vanilla Wax Tarts, the Three Wick Dream Vessels, and then the Double Wick Oxfords, which are super heavy, high quality. I'm looking forward to selling more of these. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this photo here. As you can see, I have, um, the fur down as well as this just love photo which i'm thinking of just moving just move <laughs> just move just love and then put this down here like this and you don't have to worry about the background because you're going to edit it anyway but i do want to incorporate a flower Okay, I just wanted to show you guys how I'm taking this photo. You're going to need a tripod. I got mine from Amazon. I'll link it down below. But I just have a tripod here. And I'm using my iPhone, which is super cost effective. You can use just your smartphone to take these images. I have tried to use my vlog camera, the Canon G7X, and I haven't had any success with it. Use what works. iPhones work great. So as you can see, this has this up down capability, which I love. And I always place it down a little lower because what you want is to be able to see your candles in an angle, which makes it more about the candles and less about the background. So yeah, then you just snap your photo. Okay guys, I'm also going to take pictures of me holding the wax melts and holding the candles because I've learned that Holding items is more eye-catching, you know, for product photos. For example, like this, super eye-catching. Yeah, it's super eye-catching, so what I'm gonna do is take pictures of me holding the item and then put another background behind it. So, yes, I do have the white boards, but I'm just gonna take the picture over the white board and then I'm gonna go on Canva.com and add in a different background. So yeah, just stay tuned. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that as well. So here I just wanted to get a few pictures of the wax tarts by themselves. As you can see, I've just been snapping away. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit these on Canva, but I wanted to give you guys insight into what they look like now.
All right, so those are my new strategies at taking product photos. And now we're just gonna jump into how I edit them to make them look aesthetically pleasing for Instagram and my Shopify as well as Etsy. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you should do is go to canva.com and log in. If you haven't signed up already, I would highly suggest signing up. It's this free tool where you can edit photos, videos, anything like that to Make sure your social media is amazing. So yeah, you just log into canva.com, select create a design. And for this design, since it's going to be an Instagram post, I go to Instagram post. And I'll just show you one example from the pictures I took, just so you can get insight into how I do this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that picture I took of sparkling sangria with my hand. And the first thing I do is go to effects and select background remover. With that, it will remove the image behind me so that I can be very creative and add a more artistic image. It does take a few seconds because it's removing all of that behind me so perfect there's just my hand and the candle so now i'm just going to go into photos and this is a sangria photo so i'm wondering if i could do like a romantic background so go romance you know you gotta get creative with this folks it has to be something that people will gravitate towards i mean these pink doves are cute but they don't match the label. So it's important to just do trial and error here with this. And then you position it backward. So, it's my hand. I mean, it's just, you know, you have to keep maneuvering around. I love this. Before you do that, you go position forward. And then effects or adjust and make your own picture brighter and higher contrast and then you can even filter it and my favorite filter is solar yes so it definitely adds a nice touch to it so this would be an option for me like I would use this picture on my Instagram just to show me holding the candle above a book with pretty flowers all right, everyone, that was my exact method for taking product photos and editing product photos. If you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post in the future. All right, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, just living your moment and love life. Okay, bye.